For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. Welcome to the Antiquities Travel Guide, a helping hand for visiting historic places. Follow us to different countries as we search for ancient artifacts. If you too wish to explore the ancient past through travel, we'll help you plan where to go, what to see, and how best to enjoy what you encounter. In this series of the ATG, you can accompany Natalie and me on our trek through Egypt, homeland of the ancient Egyptians, Kushites, Libyans, Asiatics, and Greeks. Come on, let's go. We are here at the beautiful Le Metropole Hotel in Alexandria, Egypt, having just completed two amazing weeks of adventure in Egypt, visiting archeological sites and museums. And uh, today we're gonna go over our top 10 list for the best places we went. Natalie made her top 10, I made my top 10. We don't know what each other chose, but we're gonna compare our lists to see uh, if we think to alike. To find out, that we'll see. Right? And then, uh, of course, this list may help you as well if you wanna go visit Egypt. Uh, what sites you might want to go visit. So, which ones are the best? Okay. Uh, overall, Natalie, what did you think of the trip? Was it fun? Was it great? Was it? It was. Yeah. It was an amazing trip. It was so much fun. Um, obviously, no trip is complete without a couple bumps along the road. <laughs> you know, a couple of us got sick, <laughs> but yeah. we we pushed through and we had so much fun. Um, I would highly recommend it, and I can't wait to come back. I totally agree. All right. Well. Let's start with our number 10s. What did you have okay. as your number 10? Okay, well, my number 10, interestingly, well, that was actually from the first day. That was Kafra El Sheikh Museum, which, which I think I sort of chose for uh, uh, sentimental reasons, okay. but I also like that it was kind of out of the way. A lot of tourists don't, don't, don't really go there. And it was also the place where I first came face to face with uh, uh, Ramses the Great, oh, yeah. which, which was, a very special moment. So yeah, that, that was, that was why. Yeah. Yeah. We we started our trip going out into the unknown in the Delta, and uh, and then we were wondering, you know, like what will people think of us? And we went there. And right. People welcomed us with open arms. They were so they, kind. They wanted to take selfies. With yeah, us. we <laughs> took so many selfies. I have no idea how many we took this entire trip, and yes. I don't have access to any of them. They're they're throughout Egypt on different people's phones, mm. but it was okay. it was a lot of fun. All right. Now I had as my number ten. Maydoom. Okay. Uh, the, the pyramid at Maydoom. And and why was that one your favorite? Um, it's interesting because obviously mm. there's only one pyramid at that particular yeah. site, but it's one of the earliest ones. It was Sneferu's first attempt mm. at making a true yeah. smooth-sided pyramid. Didn't quite go that well, <laughs> but it's a very large pyramid, and we got to go inside. And also there were uh, some uh, tombs next door to it, mm. and uh, uh, Noah, our cameraman, and I uh, got to. Uh, Go yeah. down and crawl into the crawl space <laughs> to get down to the into one yeah. of the tombs of the nobles, and it was mm. pretty cool. So, uh, I really like that site, and I think it's a good site. Very so cool. Go to see. Yes. yes. All right. What is your number nine? Okay, my number nine. That was Talbasta, and. I thought that one was really interesting because, okay, so that one was the one with the giant statue of uh, Marita Moon, Marita right? Moon yeah. yes, and and I had done all this research on her backstory and I sort of felt almost a little bit involved <laughs> after after a while and um, seeing the statue, she, she sort of came to life in this larger than life way and that location was also where we first saw hieroglyphic inscriptions out in the open, which was incredibly surreal. It was amazing. It was a beautiful open air museum. Yeah. 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 Really worth going to. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, my number nine uh, was the catacomb of Colm uh, El Shukafa that we oh, went to see yesterday. Okay. Um, I love those catacombs and. Um, you know, you get to go down under the ground, and there's all these tunnels, and you see all of the mm -hmm. little uh, caches for the for the bodies that were once there, and there's some beautiful uh, art uh, carved reliefs there, and some paintings on the wall, and you can get lost. In there. I love it when you get like in a maze underground. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. um, 
And then above ground, of course, there was an uh, open air museum too, where they had all kinds of sarcophagi. So I, th I thought that was a cool site. Yeah, so I it's uh, such an amazing site. I think every little kid sort of is entranced by the idea of these underground tunnels and labyrinths and secret rooms and things like that. So, so that's uh, very exciting. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, sort of, sort of walking around and trying to find your way. And it was also really, really interesting to see the, like, the mixture, the melding of the pharaonic culture with the Greek culture yeah. in there. That was incredibly interesting. And it's right here in the heart of Alexandria. It's not that hard to get to. Yeah. We just took an Uber and it was a few minutes and we were there, so. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what do you have as your number eight? <laughs> my number eight, okay. My number eight is Tanis. And yeah, these are all the early sites that we went to, but, but I really do feel a bit attached to them. And I think because, because they did Sort of, sort of introduce us to um, Egypt and and Tanis in particular. There's this really big um, open area where you're, you know, walking beside columns. There's there's uh, uh, Ramses the second again, like looking looking a bit larger that time, mm -hmm. and and the underground tombs that we visited. And it's it's uh, sort of what kids imagine archaeologists do every day, and and that was really sort of sort of what it felt like, and it was an amazing surreal experience. I love Tanis, and you yeah. know what's funny is I almost put it on my list. Did but you? It didn't quite oh no! It, but I almost had. But I did enjoy that site. So it's it, a was a it's it was a, a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, we got there a little bit late in the day, so we had to kind of rush. And I would love to go there again and just mm -hmm. take my time. Yeah, and really see you could spend stuff. at least a full, like a full day there mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, my number eight was El Lahun. Okay. Uh, so this is what we visited not too long ago. It was in the Fayum area, um, pyramid there. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to go uh, into the pyramid, and there's a beautiful granite sarcophagus. Uh, we got to see uh, it was a pyramid of uh, Amenemet. And, mm -hmm. or was it, <laughs> sorry, it was the Pyramid of Senderset. Yes. Um, yes, I'm getting mixed up with Hawara, but no, yes. It's Pyramid of Senderset and um, beautiful tomb. We got to go in there. Um, it's one of the better pyramids in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was my number eight. Okay. All right, All right what about so, your number seven? Number seven. My number, okay. This was a tough one mm -hmm. because there are so many amazing amazing museums in this country but I chose the the Egyptian Museum in Cairo and um, yeah I mean it has so many different artifacts we we didn't spend enough time there I think we we could have spent three days there but we had limited time um, and and for me the highlight was let's see what did I write the the Merneptah victory st st Stella yes yes and and this is a really interesting piece because it contains all these all these references to uh, foreign cultures to to Canaan and it also includes apparently the first reference to the people of Israel in history so so it's a very special piece yeah. and it was very very cool to see it in uh, real life so, I, I have yeah. the, the Egyptian Museum on my list too a little bit further up okay but wonderful place yeah Oh, so many artifacts there, and we had to rush near the end. We went, ran up to go yeah. see King Tut, but we I mean, we were running up those stairs to see King Tut, <laughs> <laughs> but but we made it, and we got some cardio as well. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic place to yeah. go, and um, and although they are opening up the Grand Museum, from what I understand, they're going to keep the Egyptian Museum as well, yeah. so it'll be there for you to see. It's just um, more to um, see. Yes. It's good. Okay, that was your number seven, was it? What was your your number seven? My number seven was, and I'm pretty sure you have this on your list higher, uh, <laughs> the Bibliotheca Alexandria, oh. uh, the Great <laughs> Library of Alexandria, the new one. I mean, that's not a big surprise that that would be on my list, <laughs> yes, right? right? I think we, I think we all knew I'm that. that yeah, yeah. We all knew right. that, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's a fantastic place. It's I mean, amazing. It is, yeah. It is the modern equivalent of the Great Library of Alexandria. Yeah. And you go in there, and they treated us so well. They, they, they showed did. us all around. But it is an amazing library. It um, is. What, the, 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 um, probably one of the best in the world. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, it's definitely worth going um, just to tour, but also to study and read books or whatever. Yeah. Right? Um, and they have, they have um, uh, an antiquities museum in there, all kinds of cool artifacts to look at. 
So uh, definitely a highlight of the trip. Absolutely. And I think for, for every little girl who's, who's seen the Beauty and the Beast movie, with the Beast Library, you sort of dream of a, of a library like that. And then um, reading about how it was, was back then, they had the most books in the entire world. Well, they claimed to have every book in the world. Mm -hmm. um, they would make copies of the books when, when ships would, would, would come into the harbor here in Alexandria. They would take the book, make a copy, give the copy to the person and keep, keep the original in the library and and yeah uh, uh, and in the manuscript museum they had the, the only surviving manuscript yeah. from the original library they did that we know of that, that they had there it's amazing which which makes me feel very encouraged actually because you know reading about the destruction of the library it's actually quite sad but to see it sort of come full circle and the idea be be uh, revived in a sense is uh, really exciting and what did you have as your number six? Oh, wait, I think you told us. I did, yes. Yes, we covered that. That was the Kam al Shukafa. Oh, yeah, the, the right? Yes, yes, the uh, catacombs. Yes. Yeah. So, again, great site. She liked it even better than I did. So, <laughs> a wonderful place. Okay, and yeah. my number six was. Um, now, you might think this would be higher on the list, mm -hmm. but I don't have it higher on the list. Okay. Um, and that is Giza. Okay. All right, the Great Pyramid. You're going to think, what? That should be number one. <laughs> um, but it was great. I mean, no doubt about it. There's three wonderful pyramids there. There's all kinds of tombs mm -hmm. there that we visited. You got yeah. to go into two of the pyramids. It's fantastic. Um, did you have it higher on your list? I had it a bit higher. Okay, all right. So, um, but, but it was crowded. Yeah. It was, it's, yeah. it's over... Um, exposed i think yeah. it's like uh, everybody goes there you know what i mean so i just want to put that it's the place everybody goes that you have to go to yes. but there are other places that are equally as special that you should also go to right and i, I don't get me wrong i love it's on my top 10 list <laughs> yeah but i didn't put it any higher than this but um, i still enough. loved it still a great place and you mm -hmm. should go there mm -hmm. yes um all right what did you have was that that was my number six? What did you have? Yeah, number, number five? five. My number five was 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 Amarna. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a really really interesting place. It's kind of this uh, mystical city in the middle of the desert that was that was uh, dedicated to the cult of the sun god Aten, mm -hmm. and you know the heretic king Akhenaten. He he sort of broke away from from mainstream uh, religious and philosophical thought to create his own religion. And, and that's really reflective in, in the artwork that we see there, yeah. which, which I think is very special. It's, it's really unparalleled. You don't see artwork that looks quite like that mm -hmm. throughout Egypt. Um, and I love the sun rays with the hands attached that just reach down and sort of touch the people. Like It's like the deities making contact with the people, which is yeah. really, really an, an interesting picture. Yes. And although the, not much of the city is left, there's yeah. all, all kinds of tombs there, including the royal tombs, yes. right? Which are fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of sad because they told us at Amarna that they don't get a lot of visitors. They I know. I was I was go surprised. Visit yeah. <laughs> go see Amarna. If if you're in Egypt, go see Amarna. It didn't quite make my list, but it's definitely a fantastic <laughs> place. It almost made my list. Yeah. But it's hard to narrow down. It's you know? a must see for sure. Yeah. Uh, my number five was Dash. Okay. Which has two pyramids: the Red Pyramid and the Bent Pyramid. Um, and what's cool about both of those is um, again, there's two two more pyramids at Sneferu, mm -hmm. uh, but the Red Pyramid was the first smooth-sided pyramid that came out right, <laughs> okay? And uh, we, you get to go inside of it as well. And mm -hmm. the bent pyramid didn't come out perfectly, but it still has a lot of the outer casing stones on it. It's gigantic. It's bigger, actually, than the Red Pyramid. And there's, uh, you could get lost inside of it. There's so much you got to go up and down and all over the place. Mm -hmm. You'll see it in the video. <laughs> but um, two fantastic pyramids. You were sick that day, so I was. You didn't I know, go in, I know. Next beautiful time. Beautiful <laughs> sight. Go to Dasher. Loved it. Yeah. All right. Okay, so number four. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. I here. know. What we're getting to the good stuff, four. aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my number four was Saqqara. And that was because, well, I mean, that was where we really got our first glimpse of, of a pyramid type, of a proto pyramid type. Um, sort of, sort of how they how they went from the mastabas to the um, what's it called? Well, it's the step pyramid before yeah. before the great pyramids, the pyramids plural, but but yeah. the great pyramid at Giza was uh, actually built. So so I think it's really interesting to just see the process of how that all happened. Mm -hmm. So so this was kind of like chapter one of pyramid yeah. studies for me. Yeah. 
And there, I, I have actually a little higher on my list. Okay. But there are um, all kinds of tombs there. I mean, all over the place. And there's still more to be found. So mm. it's like a rich site with so much. Yeah. But I loved going to that Joseph Pyramid. You look down into the pit and you see the, the, uh, the mm -hmm. burial chamber down at the bottom. And, yeah. Uh, it was really cool. It was, it was incredible. Uh, love that site. Uh, my number four, yeah. and I think you have this higher, Beni Hassan. Okay. Mm, I do have that on my list too. I do. Because <laughs> I, I remember when we were there. Yeah. Like, I love this. Yes. Place. <laughs> um, but they were the rock cut tombs. Okay. And again, another site that a lot of people don't go visit, and they yeah, should. Yeah, they should. Um, and the tombs are amazing. You go in there and you see all kinds of artwork on the walls, but also outside. Yeah. Beautiful view of the Nile. It's, right. it's incredible. I think I said to you when we were there that, that this is the first time I feel like I'm stepping into like a fantasy video game yes. <laughs> where where everything around me just looks larger than life and just incredible. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful site. Yeah. Go visit. A wonderful Benny. site. So my number three was Giza. And was what? Was uh, Giza. Oh, Giza, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I know it sounds a bit cliche. These are the popular pyramids that, that everyone goes to. But yeah, I mean, it is sort of this, this massive monstrosity that, <laughs> that, that I think everybody needs to see. But for me, it's, it's, uh, it also shows, shows this progress of, of um, architecture and, 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 and also this, um, perseverance this this uh, perseverance and this ingenuity that they had where they you know they didn't give up even when they made mistakes building the pyramids we we see that with uh, Seneferu. he he made Kept those going, right? three attempts and he you know failed until he got it right and then his son Khufu was the one who who actually built the great pyramid which yeah. which I think is such an amazing story he was he was probably inspired by his father and 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 he went on to to build this so so when I go there I I sort of think of that story in the back of my mind just of perseverance yeah. and yeah yeah yeah, wonderful, wonderful site. Mm -hmm. My number three was already mentioned, but okay. it was the Egyptian Museum, the Cairo Museum. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a great one. So many things to see there. Yeah. Uh, and I, I definitely want to go back there, but I loved it so much. The best museum we went to, number three. Okay. It was wow. great. Okay, number wow, two. Final two. Number right. two. What do you have? Number okay, two. my number two. Well, like I said, this won't come as a big surprise, but this was the the Biblioteca mm -hmm. Alexandrina, and wonderful it's library. it's so yeah yeah it's so wonderful. I mean, I'm kind of a big fan of libraries anyway, but but just to see this this ancient vision revived, where where education and uh, books are made accessible to to the public, really, mm -hmm. um, um, and and also the fact that they still still have that manuscript from from the original library, I think that's so special. And to me, that sort of shows that this this vision wasn't lost, and that it's being revived, and that it lives on mm -hmm. with us yeah. today. Yeah, uh, my number two. I don't think he's on your list. Um, okay. I put Abu Sir. Okay. okay. So um, now this is a site that's currently closed. You have to get a tour guide. <coughs> Special permissions. They have to pay a fee to get you mm -hmm. in there. But if you can get in there, it's a beautiful site. It's got several pyramids with temples attached, which remains of the temples. Um, and I just had a great time there. You can see the parts of the floors and the walls and some of the beautiful blocks that were made to, to create these temples. You can uh, look at the pyramids. Um, so I love the site of Abu Sir, and I can't wait for the day where they finally open it back up. I think archaeologists are working there, but when they finally open it back up to the general public, you have to go to Abu Sir. That was my number two. Okay. okay. Now number one. one, number one, our favorites. All right. What is the greatest site that you went to on this trip? You know, that is such a hard call because I, I don't know if I can really say I have a perfect number one because there are so many, but if I had to choose, it's, it's actually one that I think will surprise people a little bit, but that was Beni Hassan, okay. Tomb 3, which, which belongs to Kanum Hotep II. Great. And, and yeah, it's a site that, Unfortunately, not many people go to, but and I hope that more will. Maybe maybe after this comes out, more people will will be inspired to go. But but yeah, um, it depicts all this all this really interesting artwork and and there's this line where where we see these uh, Canaanites coming from the southern Levant, and we see how their clothing, their their posture, their 
you know, various cultural attributes, they, they uh, really stand out against the backdrop. And it's a very, very uh, uh, special piece, I think. So, yeah. Just about the tombs in general, uh, there and in also other places, there's so much depicted of daily life and different peoples, and they're doing different activities. Yep. And it teaches you a lot about how people lived, who mm -hmm. they knew, what kind of interactions there were. I, that's why I love the. the I think Noah games. liked the wrestlers, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrestlers. yeah, the wrestlers yeah. were uh, very interesting too. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and and with regard to Beni Hassan and some of these other sites that we visited, they're just dying for tourists to come there. Yeah. They're just waiting from the show they up are. at the gate. So go to these places. Okay, so David, what is your number one? My number one is something that you already mentioned. Okay. But is my number one on the list, and that is Saqqara. Saqqara, that's yeah. a good one. And, it is one that people go to. There are tourists that go there because it's, you know, Giza and Saqqara are probably mm -hmm. two of the most famous uh, sites here. Um, but why I like it better than Giza is because it has more, mm. right? So there are more things to see there. There are, of course, there's a pyramid. Uh, well, there's actually several pyramids. Uh, there is, um, I think there's at least two pyramids, mm. maybe three. There's a lot to keep yeah, track of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there are pyramids to see there. There are uh, tombs to see there. There's all kinds of stuff, and there's all mm -hmm. different sections. And sometimes you'll miss sections. Like you'll, you think you, you saw everything, and they're like, oh no, there's another area over here you can go to. So you have to mm -hmm. walk across a little bit of desert, go see that. Um, and there are, there are things in Saqqara we didn't even get to see because we didn't have time. Mm -hmm. uh, South Saqqara has more stuff too, but that was closed. Hopefully that'll open someday. But it is a gigantic necropolis. Mm -hmm. So I just had to put that at the yeah. top of the list for me. It's a good choice, good choice. <laughs> uh, so. There you have it, there are, that's our top 10. If you're thinking of going to Egypt, we think it's worth it. We know that some, some travel vloggers have gone mm -hmm. to Egypt and complained about it and things like that. But what did you think? Do you think Egypt is oh. too dangerous or do you think it's no fun or what is your opinion of it? I think Egypt is an amazing country. I would tell everyone to please come here if you can. Put it put it on your bucket list, but but don't wait until you're 85. Try to try to come a bit sooner than that. And and yeah, I mean, I think just like any other place, you you have to be you know aware of things and to take to take precautions. But we felt very safe the entire time. Um, we actually had a police escort with us at times that yes. that I don't even think that we needed. But they wanted but us to feel safe. yeah. Yeah, they just wanted us to feel safe and they were looking out for us. And it was actually funny because because we actually all got sick on this trip at different times. Yeah, I got I, a call that I gave to her. Yeah, yeah. and then, or, <laughs> so, or someone else, I don't know what, what happened, but we all got sick. But um, yeah, yeah, and the police actually gave me this, this this little bit of medicine that actually helped helped me a lot. It was very sweet and a little bit unexpected. And I never thought I'd be in a situation like that, but it's, Another funny story to add. <laughs> and in this video series, we, I, I, we gave you tips and tricks and strategies for traveling in Egypt so it'll mm -hmm. make it smoother for you. You don't have any unexpected problems. Uh, if you know what you have to deal with and how to deal with it, it it's no problem whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So thank Absolutely. you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this series. If you haven't seen the other videos, please go, please go back and watch them. And come to Egypt. <laughs>